What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today we are going to be talking about everything you need to know in order to work uh, remote fortresses in Wizards Unite. I'm extremely excited about this feature. I think everybody, honestly, is excited about this feature, and I really, really am. Oh, I'm just I'm going to delve into everything with you guys. I'm going to tell you about how it works. I'm going to talk about the night bus and how it works and where it takes you and what the night bus will do for you. But first, we do have to do our due diligence and make sure that we read the updates and the patch notes from none other than Phases herself. So this is how it reads. Witches and wizards, have you been itching to get back into wizarding challenges but find yourself without a means of magical conveyance to faraway fortresses? Then look no further as a timely new way to bring the magic closer to you, introducing the night bus. Rather than extending your wand hand and waiting at the curb, simply tap on the new night bus button from the map view. I'll show you in a second. Hang on tight as the night bus will instantly whisk you away to a fortress at Hogwarts Castle where you can use runestones to take on a variety of foes just like in a standard fortress. The night bus will be available to players level 7 and above and will begin rolling out soon so keep an eye out for the latest game update. For more details about wizarding challenges via the night bus, check out the full details over at Harry Potter Wizards Unite Help Center. For those ambitious players already thinking about their future fortress forays, fear not, as the night bus is here to stay. Just like the iconic night bus itself, we hope this new feature will come to the aid of players and help them get back into one of their favorite aspects of the game from the safety of their homes in, of course, fortresses so i am so excited about this but i know you've got questions i hopefully have a few answers for you um let's go ahead and get this thing started let's dive in right now into how the night bus works so one of the first things that i want to talk about is the actual rollout for the update we just got update 2.12 in wizards unite about a week ago and now this new update will be bringing the night bus with it and that will be update 2.12.1 and the reason that this rollout is going to be slow is because they're going to release it to different levels of players so here's how it's going to be broken down if you are level 40 or above, you will get the rollout first, 30 and above, then 20 and above, then 10 and above, and then seven and above. So the feature itself will unlock at level seven, which honestly is not going to be very hard to do at this day and age. Um, even starting out as a brand new player, you can easily get into the early teens in just your first day of playing alone. No problem at all uh, because of the way that the level scaling works. So. We don't know for sure if it's going to be hours or if it's going to be days. But again, the order will be 40 and above, 30 and above, 20 and above, 10, and then seven plus with the feature actually unlocking at level seven. So basically what is going to happen, and I have some screenshots here courtesy of, of um, phases in the community team. So there is going to be a button on your map, a lot like when there is a complimentary gift in the shop or there's an event timer, something like that, and it will tell you exactly what to do. It's very obvious and it's very blatant. I mean, you can look at the picture right here and see there's a button of the night bus. And once you click that button on the night bus, it will give you this pop-up right here. And it will ask you if you want to be whisked away to a fortress. It'll say hop aboard. The night bus will take you directly to the fortress at Hogwarts Castle, which is freaking so sick. <laughs> the fortress chambers look like this. And instead of it having like some name or title of some location or landmark, it'll actually have it right there. It'll be a picture of you entering the Hogwarts grounds via the night bus. And from there you can scroll up and down and pick your chamber and all of that good stuff. So I'm extremely exciting, uh, excited about this. It's, it's gonna work just like a normal fortress from there on out. So basically what you'll do, take the night bus, push the button, hit okay on the pop-up notification, then select your chamber. It's that easy and gonna be that quick. What's up, editing Animagus here. I got so excited about this video and editing it that I forgot to mention that you can be match made with literally anyone playing in fortresses across the world like there isn't matchmaking for your friends specifically but in testing it was proven that other people testing the feature at the same time would see other players inside those fortresses so it is 
100% possible that you can be match made with another player in your area. Uh, maybe it's server based. Maybe it has to be off the same server ping or something like that. But theoretically, it could happen that you could meet a stranger either you know, in a fortress that's in your area or from anywhere across the world. So thought I should throw that tidbit in because uh, it's pretty freaking dope. Now, I want to curb your enthusiasm and pump the brakes on this hype train or <laughs> hype bus, I guess, because this feature will probably come with several bugs. If I had to guess, it is a new feature, a new update and a very, very hefty one. I mean, the best way that I can really liken this into real life terms is if you've ever seen like a Black Friday crowd and you see all of the people banging on the door, pushing up against the door, and there's like a huge, huge wave of people rushing and waiting to get in, but there are so few people inside the actual store that can keep track of all of this. So they're almost like keeping a counter, right? Or an even better example is like when we go to the grocery store now, because of COVID-19, they're keeping a count of how many patrons they have in the store at that particular moment. Well, that is sort of what Niantic WB are going to be doing with this, is they want to try and limit the access to the features so they can make sure that they are stable before releasing them to a broader audience. Because, for example, Community Day uh, this past Saturday was a perfect example of this. America woke up at about 8 a.m. and the servers crashed because there were so many people trying to play the event. So they're trying to prevent that from happening in order to provide a better experience for players worldwide. Now, I can hear you screaming at me. I can hear you screaming at me. When, when, when? Tell me when it's going to be. When is this fo feature going to happen? And honestly, all I can say is soon. It may be as soon as this week. It may be as soon as a few days from now. It may be, um, you know, a couple of weeks from now. I just want to let you know that once it gets here and once the feature is put into the game, uh, then it will be a slow rollout. So it won't be immediate and it won't be something that just happens to everybody all at once or else the game would literally crash and burn and nobody would be able to play it. So all I can tell you is that I know it is coming hashtag soon, right? And I know that another question that a lot of people are going to have is, you know, are there plans to integrate your own friends list into this? Or how can I invite my own friends? I want to go into battle with James from Expecto Go. I want to go into battle with Lynette and I want to go into battle. I'm trying to think of all my friends who are the different professions. Like I want to go into a Magizu and a professor and a couple of other ors. Maybe Sue could hop into. And I'm just trying to think of all of the friends and all of the people who I want to play with. I mean, there are tons of people in my discord. Shout out to Steph, a Foxtrot rider. I want to play with psycho CPA. I want to play with, I want to be able to play with Pat overseas. I want to be able to invite all of these people in because it would give validation to the friends list, right? Like we would be doing more than just sending somebody gifts. So I want to be able to do all of those things. And I'm looking forward to that feature. So I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I am with you in that. Okay. The answer that we have received, the official answer that we have received is that they want to do that at some point, but we aren't sure currently when that would be. We already know uh, that you guys are going to be you know, clamoring for this. I'm clamoring for this. We we all want this feature to exist in the game because again, like I said, I want to be able to play with all of my friends from all over the world. But the the caveat is the stress on the servers that that would take and the functionality of the game would have to go to a completely new level because it would be so intense to actually be doing all of this stuff all the time, all at once. So um I, I'm just glad that the feature exists. We can, from the comfort of our own homes, do fortress battles whenever we want. I'll be streaming it live on Twitch or YouTube whenever that comes on. So make sure that you're following me, you know, all my social media stuff. So you can know when that's going to be going live. I'll be doing like fortress clinics. Me and James have already talked about doing um, raid races and doing challenges and challenge modes where we're multi streaming with each other for fun. Um, I think that that would be really great. I really do think that that would be a blast. And so those are the types of things that I'm thinking about as as this feature comes to light. And um, I know that, again, a lot of people are excited about this feature. My advice to you, if you are concerned or worried about, you know, 
not being able to have access, try to level up as best you can. That's all that I know. Um, I, as a 40 plus player, don't even know if I'm going to get it day one because they may have to to break it down even farther and say, okay, well, only level 45 plus players can. So uh, it just depends on where the gaming population is when they try to release this feature. So try to keep an open mind and try to be patient uh, in regards to the actual feature itself because it is going to be very, very hefty. And I mean, an, a real beast, <laughs> basically. It's going to be a real beast. So um, I am excited for this. I am so, so ready for this to be in the game. I can't wait to play with you guys one day in the future. I think that would be amazing. I think that would be a fantastic feature as well to add into the game. So we'll see. Fingers are crossed. Wands are ready and eyes are peeled. So if you have never been here before, I appreciate you being here and I appreciate you checking out this video. Please, if you did enjoy the video, leave me a thumbs up down below. Click that thumbs up button. It really does help out the video as well as clicking the red subscribe button and ringing those bell notifications. I am trying to be on my game with these. I think I put out four, three or four videos last week alone. I'll be live streaming at some point the Borough Besieged event to come hang out with that as well. Um, and I want to interact with you guys. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this feature. Are you excited? Are you not excited? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about the gatekeeping thing? I know that that can be kind of a frustrating mechanic sometimes in community. So let me know down in the description below what you guys think. And I would love to interact with you and talk to you about your thoughts and feels. And of course, like I mentioned before, make sure you're following me on my socials. Uh, that's you know a great way to interact with me as well. I'm always on Twitter. So you can add me there and we'll talk about stuff too. So thank you so much for for joining me on this journey i am absolutely stoked and i hope you can tell i'm amped right now to to get my hands on this feature i want it so badly but we do have to wait until the time is right in order to get it to roll out to us so we can play the game and make sure everything is stable and ready for us to go when the time comes so guys thank you so much for watching stay well stay happy and stay healthy and until next time peace